This is the problem with our freeze dryer is I keep finding junk food that I didn't like initially that now I just really adore. I like regular ice cream. In today's video, we are trying out a few more requests from you with our freeze dryer. What different types of desserts can we freeze dry and what will happen to them? Not too long ago, we had a video where we freeze dried several types of candy, like this gummy worm, or what used to be a gummy worm, and turned it into styrofoam of sorts. Sugary styrofoam, it's delicious, but very, very lightweight. Well, odd, not... very odd, but very good. In that video, a lot of you had requests of things you wanted to see us freeze dry because I think we said, what do you want to see us freeze dry? Yeah, which is fair. So thank you for chiming in. Here's the basic idea. We have several different types of desserts. Some that you requested to see, some that are downright strange, and some that we want to try ourselves. What happens if we throw these in our freeze dryer? Let's see, what have we got? We've got some cheesecake yes. of assorted flavors. And that's one that was suggested to us by somebody in the freeze drying company. This is a lemon meringue pie. I'm curious to see what happens both to the lemon curd and to the meringue when we freeze dry it. Right yeah. now we've got kind of a squishy, squishy meringue. spongy meringue texture. I'm guessing that's going to dry into something that's a lot crunchier. There's a cup of mousse. It's a mousse, yeah. I was Chocolate curious about mousse. this one because it's light and fluffy, but it's still technically classified as sort of a liquid. Cake. Cake. With some frosting on it. Yep, just again, want to see what happens. It's a bread product. I have recently been experimenting with different types of bread products. You might see that very soon. Uh, and I want to know what cake does. Not familiar with it. Marshmallow fluff. This one sounded like a glorious idea to me. We've also recently tried freeze drying marshmallows, but not marshmallow fluff. This stuff is light and airy and spreadable and delicious. You got Gushers. Yep. I thought I banned Gushers from the studio. I got them anyway. Well, you can keep that. Would you like this to explain is, what is, that is? This is our cup of leftover Gusher juice. We extracted the juice from 10 pounds of Gushers. And high juice, which, fantastic choice. These are just ones you just grabbed? Yeah. I like it. And then something that you guys also requested and I am very curious about is scoops of ice cream. In our previous snack video when we tried candies, we tried freeze drying ice cream bars, fat boy ice cream sandwiches because we heard they would be good. They were fantastic. I just want to try some scoops of ice cream, but something else I want to try is gelato. So we've got this brand of ice yes. cream. This is one of my favorite brands of ice cream. It's Tillamook. very, very yes. creamy, rich and creamy. It's more expensive, but it is really good. Then we got to compare, we have some Walmart brand ice cream, which I suspect is not as good. And then we do have some American gelato. But yeah, we're gonna try all three varieties of our frozen dairy desserts. Mm -hmm. So I think with the pie and the cheesecakes Just and the cake, we should, yeah, maybe? go for thin slices, mm -hmm. not more than half an inch thick to give it the best chance of drying all the way through. Maybe a and couple then, big lumps just to see, but. <laughs> and then we've got some parchment paper. If we have anything that we think might stick too much to the trays, yep. we can put it on that. I'm just so curious about the honeycomb. So I'm gonna try and get that little brick out of there while you I'm start slicing start things slicing up. Slicing up pie and cake. Cool. So this is beeswax. It is an edible wax, but there are warnings usually that you don't want to consume too much beeswax. It can cause stomach blockages. Uh, yeah, it's wax. But some people will eat it in minor quantities and some people like it in their honey. So I'm gonna try this out. It is quite interesting. I've never actually tried beeswax itself, so like the honeycomb. So I'm actually gonna take a little piece off here because I would like to know. I would assume it tastes like honey and wax. It both tastes and feels like I bit into a beeswax candle because I technically did. I'm gonna spit that out now. We've got these three trays in the ice cream tray. Mm -hmm. I think we can carry it up and load it into the machine. All right, come back in uh, 24 hours, see what's happened. It's the next day. Ta-da. Let's pull stuff out of the machine. <laughs> Guys, well, we've got a delightful <laughs> assortment of desserts which have vastly changed texture. So some things that I'm really surprised about, anytime we put a sugary drink or juice in the freeze dryer, it blows up. But our gusher juice? We've got foam from stuff like this before. Yes. You remember the cotton candy? We dissolved yes. cotton candy in water. That was just a foam. But our gusher's juice, now we're going to wait until it warms up because right now, it might just be frozen because these are very, very cold. Yes. But we'll let things warm up a little bit and try them then as well. That that doesn't seem like it's just frozen. That seems That's like it has turned into something juice. crunchy. Let's find out. We made Jolly Ranchers. 
It does warm up and get a little bit chewy. Yeah, I'm worried I'm gonna pull my teeth out. That is a very different consistency, even warmed up. It's like a hard, chewy candy. Yep. It's not Gushers goo mm -hmm. that we had before. Our ice cream. I wanted to try this because ice cream sandwiches are so flipping good. And we had our expensive, nicer ice cream. <laughs> we had our cheap Walmart ice cream, and then we had our gelato. So with the gelato, we were looking at this and like, what the heck happened? Now in the past, anytime we've put something in the freeze dryer with caramel in it, like Milky Way, the caramel bubbles up. So I'm thinking because this was a caramel cookie crunch gelato. Maybe, maybe that's just the caramel. I think it's just not colored that way. This might just be the caramel, so. I think that just tastes like milk. Mm hmm I don't really like it. That is just like a cookie. Yes. It tastes like ice cream. Mm-hmm. Like a crispy, crunchy cookie texture. Oh my goodness, you could sell ice cream bites like this. I'm going to eat these forever. So this is the cheap brand ice cream. I really like that. It's good. It's just like astronaut ice cream. Oh. Just looking at the inside, wow. it hasn't all fluffed up quite evenly. Equally, it's kind of like what the ice cream sandwiches did, I think. Yes, but the ice cream sandwiches, they never even fully froze. Like they got kind of gooey yeah, in the middle. Yeah, and that was that thick. Yes. And that's why. I think. These ones, we have these inner bubbles, but they did solidify. Yeah, so I'd actually take the uh, Walmart brand over the Tillamook in this instance. These are no longer- High chews. Now they're high crunch, I think. Ha! That sounds like a crunch. Well, there's two layers. Uh-huh. <laughs> Crunchy all the way through. But look at that. Yeah, the outside expanded, but I don't think the inside did nearly as much. I lied. <laughs> Dang it, I like that more too. I like Skittles more, I like ice cream more, I like high chews. We have to stop freeze drying stuff, guys. This is a problem. Fat sounds awesome. Let's get fat. So this is marshmallow fluff. Yep. It wasn't quite this fluffy before. Okay. That's fantastic. For a different experiment, we have freeze dried some regular marshmallows. And, you know, they get crunchy. Mm -hmm. They're the same texture as Lucky Charms marshmallows, yep. but they didn't actually change very much. Size-wise, they don't change at all. Like these little ones crackled a little bit, but the size and shape stayed pretty much the same. The marshmallow fluff did not. It expanded wildly. Okay, remember when you were in Italy and you told me that you tried like a giant chunk of meringue and it wasn't as good as you were expecting it to be? This yeah. is how I would expect a good meringue to be. Like, that's yeah. what it reminds me of. I think of. I was in Venice and they were selling like these pieces of meringue this size and the kind that you cook until it's like solid and crunchy all the way through. I got like two bites into it after I bought it and I was just like, I don't really want this anymore. <laughs> it was denser than I thought, but this is like so light and fluffy and like actually has a fairly mild flavor. It reminds me honestly of when we freeze dried cotton candy because it dissolves in your mouth so quick. Very, very quickly. And yeah, this is a much less intense flavor than actual marshmallows. So our honey did what our honey always does. It exploded and then it froze. But even though it seems crunchy now, guys, what always happens with our honey is it'll be crunchy, but as soon as it hits your tongue, it's gonna go back to being kind of squishy. It's only crunchy for about half a second. It tastes Ooh. like honey. Yeah. So our marshmallow fluff, it's reminding me of cotton candy. I want to see if it dissolves the same way. Every time we freeze dried cotton candy, uh, Laffy Taffy, it dissolves so fast in water. So let me see how fast this dissolves. First it floats, pretty great. Kind of like a bath bomb. Uh-huh. Actually kind of, <laughs> Well, it's better than a bath bomb, in fact. But it is just disintegrating. So actually, yes, exactly like a bath bomb. It's even dissolving in my fingers. Gushers. Now they're crunchers. So instead of high chews, we have high crunch. And instead of gushers, we have crunchers. Still kind of chewy. It's like a chewy hard. Like a cold starburst. Chewy hard. I don't like them. Nope. We got rid of everything that's good about Gushers. I don't like it. So yeah, out of all this, I'm gonna say, I like everything so far except for the honey and the Gushers. Those just don't get a pass for me. All right, next up we've got like our- Dessert tray. <laughs> yeah, rather than candy, we have desserts. So we've got chocolate cake, chocolate mousse, okay. several varieties of cheesecake, and okay. lemon meringue pie. I'm very excited to see what this meringue is like. I'm so curious. Oh, the meringue is very easy to cut. The lemon curd, not as much. <laughs> Instead of being soft meringue, it's crunchy meringue. Mm -hmm. With a tiny bit of lemon curd. 
Very, very little flavor in that. The texture is very, very similar to that marshmallow fluff now. It is. All right, real comparison test. That's way better. It's not even particularly good pie, but it's better than the freeze-dried kind. Cheesecake. Okay. Crunchy. Mm. Mm hmm This is like a cookie. Mm-hmm. A cheesecake cookie, even like a harder cookie than the ice cream was, but very cookie textured, decent cheesecake flavor. Okay, so here's the problem. I don't care for cookies. So for me, this is another one of those situations where I would rather have a slice of cheesecake. But yeah, the flavor is still fantastic. Chocolate mousse. Okay. And it was just one was the top, so it had the crunchy yep, it's part. All, it's exactly the same, just top under top. Okay. So many things that are freeze dried have a similar texture, and that really is. Mm -hmm. I think the most accessible way to say it is like the marshmallows in Lucky Charms. Yep, Just they are freeze-dried. And so it's that, usually about that consistency. This is a little smoother, creamier, which makes sense. Yeah, this was mousse. Mm -hmm. It's good. Yes. So I again, quite a bit. Yep. Uh, for traveling, anything like that, absolutely phenomenal. Again, with the whole, I'm not a huge chocolate fan, but that's still very good. And if you were a chocolate fan, you would go crazy over that. It's very tasty. Or what you were saying about something else as like an ice cream topping. Yes. Just crumb, that crumbled up. That up. Mm, that'd be good. On top of a fancy cake. Or even like mixed into ice cream. Cupcakes. Chocolate yeah. cake. It, it looks identical. It feels like a cookie. This one feels like I would pick up like cut in half cookie. I don't know if it's just because I was eating the chocolate mousse, which is really strong, but I'm not getting like any chocolate flavor out of this. Lots of interesting textures, some for the better, some for the worse, <laughs> looking at you, Gushers. But overall, this has been a lot of fun. Yeah. Different types of ice cream, different types of candy. Guys, we're willing to do other stuff, so if you have any new ideas, things that we haven't already tried, make sure you've seen what we've done before, before suggesting the same stuff, because we want new ideas, and if we get enough of those, we can do another one. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. Hit that box up at the top for our most recent video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.